Hi everyone, welcome to Kairos House. Today we've got some bike lights from AliExpress to unbox. Hi everyone, let's get straight into these lights. I bought these from AliExpress, uh, £25.48 they cost me, they're a set. This is the Q1 Samurai from Rock Bros. CNC cutting reflector lamp, quick installation and long battery life made in China. USB charging, IP6 waterproof, long time battery life and high brightness. And the front. Now what attracted me uh, to these was that the front light supposedly has a GoPro mounting attachment. So I can just put that on my uh, computer out front mount. This is 800. Now, I believe this re refers to 800 lumen. Um, straight away, we can see the mount attached to the top. So I can put that on my GoPro. It's actually quite heavy. Um, and there's a hole in the front. It looks like it's connected to that LED housing. Um, so in that box we've just got a standard USB, that is a USB-C attachment uh, to USB. Um, we've got a hot warning on it. Rock Bros. This is heavy. Wow, that is heavy. There's a cover for the back. Yep, that's attached. Just fold that up. Uh, push it back. Yep, that sits nice and snug. Okay, so we've got some instructions in English. It's the D1800. The battery type is a 4000 800 milliamp hour lithium battery. Discharge time is on full power four hours, medium power 6.5 hours, low light nine hours. Charging time four and a half hours and the product size is 9.7 by 3.2 by 3.2 centimeters. Weight is 141.8 grams. So I'm gonna have a little press of this that I can actually feel the warmth on my hand. Wow. Okay. Then the medium, then the low, and then the off. So if I hold it long, you can see uh, there's the SOS function. And then if you press it again, it just flashes. Okay, the rear one. We've got something in this bag. I don't know what it is, so we'll just empty it out. Three cable ties, one mount, a slightly angled mount, a charging lead, this is a mini USB, two rubber bands, and another cable tie. So that's four cable ties in all. On my others, this back bit unscrews. Oh, okay, now I understand. Okay, so we've actually got like a computer mount. There's the charging port at the back. Just peel it back. That sits snug. So these attach to your rails like this. Let's just check the instruction. Long press for two seconds, turn on and off. Built in battery, which is a 250 amp hour battery. Eight to 50 hours, depending on what flash you run it at. So this is a saddle bracket. This is a seat post bracket. Okay, so we've got it on the seat post adapter. You put this bit on here, this rubber bit fits on the back. Then that bit sits up against your seat post. And then you just turn this and click it in. And that just twists off when you finish with it. That's actually really, I like that. I like that a lot. You can just put it on the rail just turn it off and you attach that with the cable ties around the seat rails and the other one you would use the rubber band i've got an aero seat post so i'd probably use the bigger band so the first mode is red fast flashing okay and we've got four lights for four charge you can see it there see which is really cool so if we press it again Oh, we've got red and blue. I don't think the police would be too happy with that one if you if you did that one. <laughs> then we've got a bright whoa green, green, blue, green, purple, light blue, white, red. Back to red. Look, I don't think that would be it of any use over here. This is daytime running, and this is always on. Let's just give it a wait to see if it is what they say it is. 
Okay, so the rear light is supposed to be 30 grams, including the saddle holder. It is 29. With the seat post holder, it is 33. And the front light is supposed to be 141.8 grams. It is 148. Okay, so we're in the garage. I've put that one on. It looks like it's pointing up, but when you level the bike up, it actually points flat. There's going to be one issue in the fact that the back of this is flat. It's not pointed, so this can swing around. But it should be all right. Now, there's something to note. Um, the rail mount is actually too wide for my rails, so I won't be able to use the rail mount. Moving on to the front light. Okay, so there's the finished product slung underneath my computer mount. It actually hits, it's not a bad angle, over the front wheel. Um, overall, that is pretty cool. I like that a lot. See, the bars are a bit wide for like a normal mount. So, that's the end of this episode. Thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing, and we'll see you on the next Kairos House. Take care, bye!